Hey, good morning, guys. You know, it, I understand it's really hard for some of you guys, especially, to get a good chest workout in because you don't have a bench press at home. Yeah, so you can't push the weights around. And if you do have a bench press, you probably don't have enough resistance to go ahead and really push yourself. Well, guess what? I've got a workout for you that I think you're going to really like that's going to really get after your chest, and it's going to push you as hard as you want to be pushed. I'm going to use just a simple red band. Now, if you've got a heavier band, that's fine, or you can put bands together to increase resistance. You know how to scale the resistance to make it more challenging. I want to show you a few things else you're going to need, and then we'll get into the exercises. First of all, you're going to go ahead, and you're going to need an elevated surface so you can do decline push-ups. Yeah, decline push-ups is going to be just like your decline bench press. You're also going to need these elevated surfaces to do an incline bench press, or what we're going to call foot elevated push-ups. Same thing as incline push-ups. And then lastly, you're going to do your regular push-up on the floor. So that's what you're going to go ahead and do from an exercise standpoint and why you need the elevated surface. Now I want to show you two setups that you can use. First of all, if you want to load your band up more so you got more resistance to shorten it up, I want you to wrap it around your wrist like this. Notice how I'm going to go around my wrist, hook it through my thumb. So now it's hooked into my hands. If that bothers you in your hands, just go ahead and put a pair of gloves on and you'll be fine with that. All right, but just make sure it kind of gets into the thumb and make sure it's not twisted so it bothers your thumb. So that's how you can shorten your band to go ahead and do some aggressive push-ups. Obviously, the bigger the band, the more aggressive the push-up. Now, let's go ahead and show you an option. Let's say you've got a really aggressive band, a heavy band, and you got to lighten it down. Take it and flip it over your back. Take and put your hand there. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap, take the band, we're going to wrap it around our hand to, short, to hook it on. So now, once again, just going to go ahead and wrap it. And so now I've got resistance all the way through. Make sure that when you get here and you get all the way down, the band stays tight all the way. If not, you want to go ahead, grab a little further up, and wrap it around. Shouldn't have any problem overstretching your band. So that's how you can go ahead and shorten up a band or use a band that's maybe a little aggressive resistance and making it a little bit lighter. So there's your setups. There's your exercises. Now you're ready to go ahead and hit your bench, bench press free home chest workout. Enjoy yourself.